you know what to expect from a Karan Johar film. With time, his films also begin to resemble his sets of his talk show. Garnish, over the top, loud, and very, very, very cinematic. And the kind of cinema that Karan represents. Ricky, uh, Rocky or Ricky ki prem kahani is full of this. But it also validates a certain school at a certain time when Ka Karan moves from the hunky dog to a slightly better standard film. Interesting cast. Back in the 70s, if I'm not mistaken, it was Sai Paranchvi who thought of a cast of Shavana Asmi and Dharmendra. And I think it was Rishikesh Mukherjee who thought of uh, the name that uh, Prajpi had for her Shavana Dharam Starus, Pichu. Much later, of course, uh, yeah, all around the same time, Rishikesh Mukherjee thought of a Dharam Jaya film called Dagdar Babu, both of which were Three, four, from circa 70 to 2023. It's been a long journey in cinema. Two actors, extremely talented, Jaya and Shabha, consolidating their space in our cinema. And both of them coming together in one film and mainstream cinema like that is of course an indication that we are heading something interesting, something imaginative, and palpably important. Does it really happen in terms of the script? Is it an enjoyable film? Is it the coming together of Amina Kumari, Gaeta Rema, Sahib Bibi, or Gulam, Nutan, Asha Pare, Michael Siteri, Amin Ki? No, it's not. It's not. In fact, uh, very interestingly, uh, to film essays. But Hita always had a complaint with Guru that, that there was not a single scene she shared with Meena Kumari in Sahib. Here, Shabana and Jaya share scenes, but except for very subtle uh, nuances, there is nothing very dramatic happening between the two. And that is very interesting because, after all, two protagonists or two antagonists don't have to fight their lungs out and there is subtlety that makes for art and Karan does manage to show the two of them within the parameters of their premise without having to clash ugly in the film. It does not even carry the bounce of the pitch that uh, Chaya and Rekha did in the famous uh, control, uh, the famous scene in Silsila. So come back to Rocky and Rani. We have two families, the Chatterjee's on the one hand and the uh, Punjabi family called the uh, Randhava family. The Randhava family is headed by a paralytic stricken Dharmendra, whose name of course is uh, Kamar Lan is his name. He is married to Dhan Lakshmi Jayavan. They have a son in uh, Ahmed Bashir playing Tijori and his wife Puna played by Shiki Jodi. This is a typical Punjabi family, the Paneri thing, Rajmani thing, loud, very orthodox, feudal rich Punjabi family right in the heart of Delhi living in a palace. On the other hand, you have the Chatterjee's of, of Kolkata in Delhi. The Chatterjee's family is headed by the matriarch Shabana Asi, who is Jamini Chatterjee. 
Germany's son is Tota Roy Chowdhury, a Kathak dancer, and his wife is Chuni Ganguly, who plays the in-house uh, Shashi Tharoor. She can't speak a sentence without littering the place with 20 big wets. She's a Terzoris Padra. And their child is Rani, Alia Bhatt. The head apparent in the Randhava family is Rocky, Ranveer Singh. Now Ranveer and Alia are chocolate cheats. Once now wearing all kinds of water, uh, all kinds of uh, sofa bed or a wardrobe. And Alia, on the other hand, Ran is a straight Manish Malhotra product in the best of she wants that even Yash Chopra could not manage to get on for the series. She, an intellectual, an anchor in a talk show, he, a good for nothing club, fun and loving dance song guy who parents don't really approve of in their tubs. After a point in time, you realize that uh, Kaval and Jami had a small one-week love affair that was born to die. Both go back to their respective families with the package and memory of their love story. The young Rocky and Ron find out and look out for multiple locations where the two of them can be. And in the process, sparks fly. The families obviously find it difficult to accept something so culturally different from the other. So they go through a inoculation period where they shift homes. Both of them find it very toxic. Both of them fight it initially. Both of them give up. Finally, what happens? You know it's going to be all spoiled. Right? It happened even in Kabi Alvida, okay, enough, so it's going to happen here too. So, finally, the story ends, which is not very good. In fact, the Rani Rocky love story is a misnomer. It would have been more gutsy to call it the Chamini Kamal Khan. Be that as it may, what stands out to us? Some amazing music from the 60s topics. In fact, it starts off with Abhina Jao Chukki, Nitinda Bhimarani, the Jai Dev masterpiece. You have other songs like uh, Yesha Mastani, Yaj Mosam Bada Peimane, Ek Pyaar Ka Nakmai. So you see Lakshmi Kant Karla, Aarti Parma, Jai Dev, all of them coming. Uh, this is an interesting scene where uh, Tarams uh, is around smooching people and Buddha to Imran Hashmi Nikla is a nice one. Then an interesting uh, one line, Samu Pichas, Kya Kaha Perfect Hota Hai, Isit Kabi Adi Nehi Hoti Hai. Sapno Se Achche Tu Samjho Te Hote Hai, Roj Nehi Hoti Hai. There are nice dialogues. What stands out in the movie are the performances. Ranveer performs that extra energetic physical uh, signature. Alia is a revolution. She is an actor. Her award winning performances have not robbed her of her commercial status as an actor. To carry yard from Brahmastra come back, comes back with it. To Kon Hayar or to Kya Hayar again and again in uh, Rocky and Kali. Obviously, with Shavana and Jaya and the Fala, you expect high performances from the both of them. You expect high performances from both of them. That's not true. Both of them, unfortunately, to the script, play secondary roles. And the love story is a premise and is in the background. Hopefully someday we'll evolve to a day when the 
love story of a sextagenarian is in the front row and the romance of the youngsters in the back row. This far, some journey, Karan, Kejo, congratulations. Shabara, what do you say about an actor of this kind? A strong, powerful actor of all roles, women identified roles. He is willing to play a subdued, harsh, romantic. Good performance. Couple of scenes she has over the top. Maybe that is to show that she comes from the Punjabi school of over the top acting. But what an actor. She is almost a seed stealer for everybody in a role which she visits for the very first time in her career. As a killer in a and a role huge, marginally black or grey. Do she see that? She was a killer. But in no other film has she played a strong, negative character as she does this. And she does not go overboard with the character. So, kudos to Jaya Bachchan and Shabana Azmi for keeping the movie strong. Kudos to the two of them for ensuring that they don't let drama get the better out of reality. Good dialogues, reasonably good music. Nice to, to see two men do dolare dolare dolare. Very well done, Farha Khan, for the choreography of the song. Every time there are a couple of dances, there's Shamana and Jaya. You must see their reactions. Very subtle, very nuanced, and a proof of what great actors you are. But those who believe in actor quality. Rocky and Rani is what's For those who have a year, for some nice sentences, one line was here and there. Nice time to see. Those who like to see mainstream, larger than life film, of course Rocky. Dharmendra fans come along, some nice moments that they act in Looks really very aged, he needs to be very unkind on his face. Interesting cast that you got the men there with Shabana and Jayapuch, a cast that nobody has thought of over the years. Karan pays a tribute to Sanjay Lila Nice to see that happening. Rocky and Rani Brain Khan is a different commercial film to those of us who like to see mainstream cinema without having to train your senses beyond the point, recommend. I would see the movie. I'd see it for the second time. Only because amazing performances. Shavana Asmi and Jayamacha. And an unbelievable wardrobe display from Alia Bhatt, who has said, apart from carrying her chiffons in an unprecedented place, she acts very well. Go for the book. Bye-bye. Before I sign up, customary acknowledgements and thanks to Abhinav and W. So long. Bye-bye.